Hello and welcome to Federal Rugby Beyond Forever Sports and the Stormers have just been beaten uh, by the Glasgow Warriors, 20 points to 9, in what honestly might have been one of the worst Stormers performances I've seen in a very long time. Uh, a team that just didn't pitch up, to be perfectly honest, uh, started badly, ended badly, wasn't much good in the middle, to be perfectly honest. Uh, what was weird about this performance was just the soft skills, the, the basics were lacking uh, from a side that don't traditionally travel well and it is something that they've had to... Uh, they're going to need to address because you can't just use the excuse of, oh, we just don't travel well. You know, it's all very well playing brilliant rugby when you're at uh, the Cape Town Stadium. You've got to be able to travel well. And at the moment, the Stormers team just haven't really been able to unlock that. Um, before we look at, uh, at, at uh, the game and how the game transpired, as well as some of the stats, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, so it was a, uh, a slow start to the game. The first points coming in the 19 minute through the boots of Sasha Feyenberg on Mizzou. However, off the kickoff, uh, Glasgow Warriors obviously did a bit of analysis. They, they kicked off very quickly, caught the Stormers unaware twice. And, uh, you know, off the first time, knock on, eventually a, tr a, a penalty. Um, they got a scrum off it a bit later and a brilliant try for Sion Tupolato. went over the 24th minute. George Horn added in extras. Uh, Sasha Feyenberg on Mizzou tried to cancel out that sort of, uh, th those points were a three point in the 28th minute. But, off the back of the, once again, you know, off, off the line out, off the kickoff, uh, knock on, uh, knock on, followed by, turn over ball, followed by a, a penalty, kick to the corner, rolling more, Johnny Matthews goes over in the 29th minute. Uh, George Horn then added an extra three points off the boot with the 33rd minute, which Sasha Shikamazuda then sort of uh, tried to reduce the deficit in the 36th minute. And then a moment of madness from Evan Ruiz, an, an off the ball, clean out, dump, Call it what you will. I uh, saw him get a yellow card in the 38th minute, and Joseph Debo decided to go and join him just one minute later. Two players in the sin bin. Johnny Matthews going over um, in that just before half time to make it 20 points to nine. And at 15 points to nine, Stormers weren't playing well, but you kind of felt they had a chance. You know, you kind of felt that, well, they're only six points behind. You know, bad first half, going to the bench, going to the, 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 the change room. Maybe the, the, the bench can come on and add a bit of. Uh, a bit of boomer, a bit of, a bit, a bit of uh, intensity, uh, which I think it did to a certain degree. Um, but yeah, so 20 points to nine, and, and that's how it ended. So a, a scoreless second half, Stormers tried to roll the dice by bringing on um, a host of subs. Didn't really get the reward at scrum time. Had a couple of interesting scrums, a couple of decent scrums, but the handling was just every single time they had go for it ball, every single time they had momentum and had an opportunity to score points, the knock on or conceded a, 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 a penalty the lineouts were a disaster uh it just it just wasn't particularly good if we look at some of the stats uh 57 percent possession for uh glasgow but 63 percent possession or territory rather for the stormers uh three tries uh to none one conversion one penalty for glasgow three penalties for the stormers uh glasgow ran more um meters had more defenders beaten more clean breaks um the game line carries 35, 36, not too many across the game, actually. Uh, offloads, well, not too many offloads. Five turnovers, one by the Stormers, just the three from Glasgow. Uh, 90 kicks from hand from Glasgow, 9, 12 from Stormers, so maybe should have kicked more, should have kicked more. An interesting idea. Uh, in terms of defense, Stormers, 126 of 150 tackles. Uh, Glasgow, 112 of 126. Uh, Glasgow missing two kicks, so it could have actually been worse for them. And uh, Sasha Fame and Gomez slotting three from three. Uh, if you look at the line success rate, appalling from the Stormers. Six line outs lost at a 65% of possession. And uh, Scrum's not much better, five out of nine. So set piece, just no set piece dominance whatsoever. No, nothing the, uh, that, the, um, that, that they could do off it, really. Uh, and if you look at discipline, five, I mean, 10 penalties conceded by Stormers, 11 from Glasgow. So not too much in that. Two yellow cards from Stormers did make a big difference. Uh, in terms of players who I thought stood out well, I thought Evan Ruiz. Threatened to be good. And, um, yeah, it's, it, it, but, but again, you know, silly, silly errors. Um, Stormers players, I thought, played well. I thought Johnny DuPC actually played pretty well. I thought that uh, Ben Jason Dixon was very industrious. He's a good player, 18 tackles, just one miss. I think he's a good graft. I think, you know, watch out for him. I thought Warwick Lunt did something whenever he got the ball. I think you need to get into the game a little bit more. Ben Lowe looks exciting. I like the look of him. It wasn't his best game, maybe. I like the look of him. I think that uh, he could be a very interesting acquisition. Uh, worrying times, though. Lizo uh, Kavoka going off uh, injured 
doesn't look particularly good there. So yeah, I mean, in terms of where Tube and Storm has got to learn how to adapt to play these conditions. Can't just use that as an excuse. Need to find ways of adjusting. Need to find ways of finding results because a performance like today just isn't really good enough, to be perfectly honest. Let me know what you thought about down in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.